What's going on? My name is Everyday Tony, the Calendar Kid. I just won Master of the Mic. Uh, my friend Dave, who was at work, like he kind of said something along the lines of kind of like average Joe, but since your name's not Joe, your name's Tony, so it was like Everyday Tony. And when he said it, like people started laughing and then kind of stuck. Only as a joke, I was not gonna use it as a rap name. But when the UA set me up with my first show, they're like, what do we put on the flyer? And I had nothing. So I started thinking of what Dave said and they was calling me that at the job. So I was like, all right, well, we'll use Everyday Tony for now and I'll change it. I'll try to think of something better, but I never did. People kind of liked it. They're like, I like that name. And I just, I just ran with it. Since I started, I felt like I was pretty advanced, <laughs> even as a kid. So I always knew I was good. This kind of just like confirmed it. It's not just in my head. A lot of people think they're good at stuff and then everyone else is like, ah, nah, you need to be something else. This kind of confirmed it that this is, might be what I need to do. Maybe not being on stage yet, that'll come. But with, with the music, I have like a sixth sense with this music stuff. My first show out here was at a barbershop. It was really cool, really, it was hip hop. I opened up for Beanie Seek. I had my whole squad with me. So I didn't realize like how nerve wracking it is to be on stage when you're by yourself. Cause I had a whole, like my whole, my whole team was with me. So it was fun. I didn't even, I didn't, I wasn't even nervous. But uh, after that, when it was just me, it was, it was different. <laughs> like being on stage, you're just there. Everybody looking at you was different. But my first time, it was fun. Jay Nonstop called me and said, hey, you wanna do this competition? I'm like, what, what do I have to do? And he was like, just be you. So when I show up, <laughs> I was so unprepared. And then I met Callie D for the first time. And she's like, yeah, you need a flash drive. And I'm like, oh, I thought it was like freestyle battling. She's like, no, this is like performance. Last minute, I kind of whipped something up and then um, kept telling everybody, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy this round because I'm not making it past the first round. And then I did, which was to my surprise. Yeah, it's, it's a great experience. You gotta take constructive criticism. And even though I, I, I thought I was God's gift to, to rap music, man, there's so much competition. There's some people that really made me wanna go back and, and work harder. And um, and that's great, you know, sword sharpening sword. So I got that. The spirit of competition was there, but still everyone was, was respectful. Everyone was rooting for each other. People are gonna give you encouragement, give you pointers. Like the judges too, that's a great thing. The judges aren't just like anybody off the street. Like it's people that actually like have real serious backgrounds in music. I would just say, come in with an open mind, come in fierce, rehearse. I feel like you you have a, a step up on the competition if, if you rehearse a lot. People would be seeing me more often on the DFW scene doing shows and I feel like it's kind of stagnant being a gangster rapper. I kind of don't want to do that. I want to make music that's more positive, more uplifting. And I think I'm ready now to present to the world something that, that the world will want to hear.